Forty years ago, China charted down a new path towards a more prosperous and open society. Dubbed as China's second revolution, reform and opening up efforts have catapulted the country's economy to incredible heights. When Chinese leader Deng Xiaoping announced the new measures back in 1978, 770 million Chinese lived on less than $333 a year. Few people could afford middle-class amenities like TVs and phones. Buying property, owning a business, and traveling abroad was all but impossible. But that's all changed now. China has opened its doors to the outside world, and over the past 40 years, the nation's GDP has grown on average 9.5 percent each year. Its economy is now around 35 times bigger than before. An exhibit at the National Museum of China walks you through China's amazing rise over the past 40 years. Free trade has fueled China's economic miracle. Since 1978, the value of imports and exports has risen annually by 18.6 percent on average. Its number of trading partners has grown from less than 50 to more than 230 last year. Today, China handles around 11.5 percent of all globally traded goods, worth an estimated four trillion U.S. dollars. As Chinese economy has grown, so have its cities. Megalopolises connected by the largest highway system, the most expansive high-speed rail network, and the longest cross-sea bridge in the world. Steady, planned infrastructure development has been key to China's rise. An old Chinese saying teaches: If you want to be rich, build a road, and that lesson applies for countries around the globe. Xi Jinping's landmark Belt and Road Initiative is building on China's unique experience to help connect the world. The global development strategy includes over 100 countries and focuses on upgrading international connectivity and trade. To close huge infrastructure gaps in and between nations, Belt and Road partners are working together with China to build more railways, bridges, and roads. Looking to the future, it's important more people use new energy vehicles to drive down those roads as well. Under new Chinese bank policies, buyers purchasing a new energy vehicle can borrow up to 85 percent of the cost. Chinese incentives, like favorable financing, are pushing the world's green energy industry forward. More than half a million new energy vehicles have been purchased so far this year, in what has remained the largest auto market in the world for the past nine consecutive years. Green energy is the future, and China is leading the way through a combination of subsidies, policy targets, and manufacturing incentives. China has spent more on upgrading its energy sector than any other country in the world. China has cut carbon dioxide emissions per unit of GDP by more than 46 percent since 2005, and that doesn't just mean cleaner land, air, and water in Asia. Environmentally friendly products made in China and new green Chinese technologies are being exported all around the world. Innovation is a key part of China's plans for further opening up, as its economy transitions from a phase of rapid growth to a stage of high-quality development. The country is actively fostering new drivers of growth. Chinese innovations aren't only cleaning up our skies; they're taking us beyond them as well. A new generation of Long March carrier rockets will start transporting equipment to China's first space station within the next couple of years. China's new space station should be up and running by 2022. It will all be built from scratch using domestic Chinese technology, and all UN member states are invited to work with China as it travels to the stars. China's ambassador to the UN in Vienna said that, guided by the idea of a shared future, the China space station will become a common home in space for all humankind. Today, Chinese businesses are an important link on a global supply chain. Its artists and scientists create together with the world's greatest minds. 
and its markets are filled with the most popular foreign goods. But there is still a long way to go for the world's biggest developing economy. With an amazing 40 years behind it, the next 40 years promise to be even better as China continues to reform and open up.